Hi guys, it is just another dreary, drizzly, depressing winter day here in uh, South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Thursday, January 9th, 2014. I'm just stuck in my trailer again doing what I do is going through the mainstream media, the alternative media, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And it occurs to me, it's been occurring to me that I haven't uh, done a Fukushima rant uh, in the, how long? It's been a few weeks since I've checked in with Fukushima. And if you're, if you are like me, uh, a, a watcher of Alex Jones, my fellow Austinite, the Alex Jones, you will know, I believe that Alex and all of his lieutenants are out there in California the only thing Alex Jones is talking about this week is the Fukushima radiation has arrived in uh, on the west coast of of California, and it's pretty much time to to put up your for sale sign in all of these rants and videos that Alex is having about Fukushima you will find that in the middle of, of these rants, he is selling his iodine pills from, uh, that this is how Alex Jones makes his money, is by selling things such as iodine pills. So anyway, I was glad to see right here in the mainstream media this story today from Scientific American Magazine. I, I, I doubt seriously that Alex Jones has ever read Scientific American Magazine in his life. What is that, guys? Is Scientific American, is, is that mainstream media or alternative media? I, I'm not sure. It's kind of on that fence. So, and I'll put the link to this very long story. It's titled, What You Should and Should Not worry about after the Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. And so what this story does is break down all of these recent fear-mongering stories about the uh, Fukushima nuclear meltdown, uh, starting out with all of this steam that you're seeing rising from those uh, reactors, Scientific American uh, says it is fortunate that physics suggest that such steam is nothing to worry about because it is impossible to check firsthand. Due to the meltdown in the reactor, radiation levels are too high for any real human to enter the area without receiving an unacceptable dose. But physics is saying that steam is, you shouldn't be worried about the steam. What about the fishes? This is the next thing they look at. Another perennial concern is that the water contaminated with radioactive particles still leaking from the stricken nuclear power plant is poisoning the Pacific Ocean fish and other seafood. And so what are they, uh, what is scientific Americans analysis about this. They, uh, <clears throat> there is no doubt that ingesting these radionuclides is one of the worst forms of radiation exposure. Uh, but with the exception of bottom-feeding fish caught in the immediate vicinity of this radioactive water leaking into the Pacific Ocean, any radionuclides from Fukushima have been diluted by the vastness of the Pacific to insignificant quantities. And the, 
the radiation leaking from Fukushima, Fukushima simply is not enough to create a dose large enough to cause any human health effects outside the immediate vicinity of the stricken nuclear power plant. And uh, so they're saying it's not time to that, that fish being caught off the coast of California uh, simply are not being uh, poisoned by Fukushima radiation. Guys, I, I just, uh, in my own life, I don't eat anything coming out of the goddamn ocean anymore. This is not the main reason I don't, but it's certainly one more reason. Uh, I am on the fence. Now, one of the things that uh, that Alex Jones is talking, well, anyway, I'm sorry. Let let me get to it in the uh, further down in the article. I will uh, I will have some more to say. Okay, when it comes to radiation, the nuclear weapons tested testing by the good old U.S. of A. conducted in the Pacific from the 1940s to the 1980s contributed orders of magnitude more radioactivity to the oceans than Fukushima. Let's see. Uh, then it goes on. Uh, where does it talk about this? Uh, Anyway, let's say about the, these these potassium iodide pills. These these con, conspiracy theorists, tin tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists. I'm not uh, sure that I'm one or one or not. Uh, talking about whether we should all be taking potassium iodide pills. Uh, no one, this is Scientific American, no one in the U.S. should be taking potassium iodide pills, especially because there has been no radioactive iodine uh, issuing from Fukushima for several, several years now. Uh, Okay, let's see. Where uh, did it talk about? I don't know what my problem is. Uh, okay, this is one. Here it is. I, I just already went past it. Uh, one of these repeating, repeating uh, themes in the various Alex Jones and uh, related stories is talking about the uh, all of the spikes in p sea bottom life uh, that that Fukushima is wiping out uh, all of the the, the sea life uh, all over the Pacific Ocean. Okay, this is what Scientific American has to say about those claims nor is the radioactive contamination from Fukushima the cause of changes to Pacific sea bottom life observed recently uh, off the U.S. west coast. Those shifts, meaning all of those dead animals piling up on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, most likely stem from the copious quantities of carbon dioxide spewed by fossil fuel fired power plants that are changing the climate and therefore the tiny plants known as phytoplankton that serve as the base of the oceanic food chain. There you go. It is not the nuclear power plants 
uh, killing any sea life off of the coast of California. It is the good old fossil fuel powered power plants killing the plankton. You will never, never hear Alex Jones make a comment about that. Now, one in Alex Jones's favor, nowhere mentioned in this article, is this. Did, have you seen the, this video right here? It's, it's also both in the mainstream news today and on Alex Jones about this, uh, 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 about the, these, these whale, this, this uh, whale embryo that was miscarried uh, a few days ago was washed up on the beach in Baja, Mexico about uh, these conjoined the, it's pretty gruesome to look at guys uh, I you cannot blame fossil fuels for this uh, this disgusting uh genetic mutation this this whale abortion it has nothing to do with fossil fuels does it have to do with fukushima of course uh, alex jones is saying it does anyway you be your own judge okay and then they finally get to what should we really be worrying about over there in fukushima it is not what Alex Jones is worrying about, but this is not saying there's nothing to worry about. So none of this is to say that radiation from Fukushima does not pose in any dangers or that its spread should not be continually monitored. monitored. But the ongoing serious causes for concern revolve around the dangerous and delicate work of cleaning up the nuclear disaster site and the real health risks are being faced by people uh, in the vicinity of the stricken nuclear uh, reactor you know, talking about uh, cleaning up all of that shit and moving the the fuel rods to be safely removed and discarded. That is what you need to be worried about. Uh, are are is is that shit? <clears throat> okay. Bottom line from Scientific American magazine. Bottom line, until Fukushima has a sarcophagus entombing it, or until all of the nuclear fuel has been carted away, expect periodic reports of this radioactive steam to continue for years to come, but do not worry about it reaching the U.S. As the NRC's uh, McIntyre, one of these guys from the national, uh, whatever the NRC stands for, quote, advice for people on the West Coast to buy radiation suits because of this steam is simply irresponsible. So I don't think Alex Jones is selling uh, radioactive uh, suits, but you can decide for yourself whether you live on the west coast of this country, whether you should be visiting Alex Jones's store and buying uh, iodine pills from Alex Jones. But uh, meanwhile, uh, as the tinfoil hat wears, we'll tell you, the federal government is stocking up on, uh, on this shit for some reason. 
Anyway, where am I going to next? I'm going to move over there to YouTube for, I got two more rants uh, on this dreary day. For this one, bye guys.